Hey, what's up guys, it's Gus, and today we're gonna be trying out some Tiger ice skates for the RX3. Now, I have my RX3 wireless here. I did put some core pads in. Um, I do have some core pads on the RX3 wireless. Um, so I'm gonna be replacing the core pads on my wireless with the ice skates. Here I do have a RX3 wired with stock with the stock shitty feet. Now I'm gonna keep these here because I don't want to waste. I don't want to put Tiger ice skates on this because I feel like the wired one is just like it's not worth upgrading the feet. This is a bad mouse. Like I don't want to spend good feet on a shitty mouse. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna keep the feet here stock. I'm gonna give you guys a sound test with the stock feet. Now these stock feet right here, they are not the smoothest. If you put a lot of pressure, if you just barely, I guess if you fingertip. Um, if they're not really that scratchy, but if you claw or palm grip, as soon as you put pressure on your mouse, they start getting scratchy. And let me see if the mic. These are the feet without the pressure. And even then, they still sound a little scratchy. Now, this is the feet with pressure. By the way, the surface is in Odin Zero Gravity, and this thing is smooth, so it's not going to sound the loudest. But when you compare it with the wireless, and mind you, I'm putting pressure here. When you compare it with the wireless, there's a significant difference. You can hear it. It's clear. This thing is just, not only is it quieter, it's also really, really smooth. Like this thing feels buttery smooth. Like the feet on the original gravity feels super smooth. So core pads, they're definitely good. They're better than these crappy uh, stock feet. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the stock. Well, I'm gonna take off the feet, the core pads I have on this one and replace them with the ice skates. And if I could, if I can manage to not bend the feet, I will take them off and put them on the, uh, I will take off the shitty stock feet that the wired came with and replace the stock feet with the uh, used up cord pads. Um, Cause yeah, I don't want to waste any uh, brand new feet on this one. I'm just going to try to sal salvage these. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm curious to see exactly how smooth and how different the cord pads are from the ice skates because cord pads are pretty damn good they're, they're my favorite aftermarket skate the reason i actually got these ice skates for the aerox in the first place was because it actually came with two pairs the these come with two pairs the ice skates usually come with one set of feet but these i guess since they're so small you're able to just they were able to just put two feet two, two uh sets of feet in there so yeah i thought that was pretty cool Okay, so by removing the stock feet with my finger, I could kind of take them off without bending them. So I may be able to save the core pads. Maybe. If not, whoa, whoa, you screwed. This thing's screwed. I'm not, I'm not putting any more damn feet in it. All right, now let's take off the core pads. Should have probably took out the core pads first, to be honest. Okay, so it seems like I was able to take off the first feet without bending it. Let's see if I could place it here. Hey, that seems to have worked a little. Cause I do see like it's a little bent. We'll see how it ends up being. Also, I do not recommend using your fingernails cause this is kind of painful if you're not careful cause this whole skate goes on your fingernail and stuff. So if you guys have tweezers or something like that to go underneath the skate, I recommend doing it that way. But if you don't, you could use your fingernail just putting my fingernail around here and then going around the skate trying not to bend it so it can come off easy without bending it a whole a whole a whole bunch oh yeah <laughs> all right so good thing i was able to salvage the freaking um core pads because this is way freaking better so that works fine so far now let's take out the uh ice skates for the RX3 wireless. Oh, yeah, you see, it does. So yeah, you see, there you go. There's your two sets of skates for your RX3. So yeah, so out of all the ice skates, 
The Aerox 3 are the only skates that come with two pairs. So any other ice skates out there, you're just gonna get one pair, one pair of ice skates. So let's go ahead and see how smooth these feet are and see if they're actually worth upgrading from core pads. So these ice skates, they go for about eight bucks, I believe. And you only get one pair. As opposed to core pads, they cost around 10 bucks and you get two pairs for 10 bucks. So for the value, core pads are the better option. Now that's just based on value. I still have to actually try these and see if they're actually worth the price. Cause if they're not even that much different, I will rather just recommend getting core pads. And I did forget to use the alcohol pad to wipe out the excess um, adhesive, but there really wasn't much adhesive left over. Still, I recommend using that alcohol pad before applying your new skates to remove any extra leftover adhesive. Now let's see the difference. So this is the wireless and this is the wired. So these are the core pads. Smooth, better than the standard stock feet, obviously. And these are the ice skates. Hmm. Now, right out, right away, I cannot notice any significant difference. So. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, play some Kovacs, play some video games, see if uh, they break down and they get better over time. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'll be right back. So I've been using the ice skates for about 10 to 15 minutes and yeah, I could tell that these feet right here, they are actually smoother and faster than the core pads. Now by smoother and faster, I mean just a little smoother and a little faster. You could tell the difference, but the difference is not that much if I'm, in my opinion. Um, they're still good feet. I actually like them better than the core pads, but, but they're eight dollars and that's where my issue arises you know it's eight bucks for one set of feet the feet are good but if you are someone who likes to mod their their mouse put a cable you know mod the switch and stuff like that then you're gonna want to get core pads because you get two sets of that you know um i will only recommend getting ice feet for your end game mouse like if you have a mouse you absolutely love and you're trying to get that much more performance or so you're trying to replace the stock feet then ice feet are a must because these things are actually pretty damn good they're faster and they're smoother than core pads and that's a good thing but you know they're eight bucks for one pair of feet so keep them keep that in mind before choosing the the um the feet or if you're done modding your mouse then yeah make sure yeah get, yeah i would recommend getting some ice skates um and the only reason i actually got them was again i got two pairs one for the well, I got two pairs. I replaced them on my wireless, and I do have some just in case I have to. I want to mod the the mouse, um, but yeah, um, core pads are good. Ice skates are better in my opinion, but you get one pair, so that's the drawback. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to hit that like button if you liked the video, and make sure to sub if you want to see more content like this. This is Gus from Hardware Unplugged, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.